Hey nerds, it's Rachel and today I'm going to be doing a comparison video comparing the Pilot Vanishing Point to the Moon Man retractable fountain pens. So the colors are, this is a deep yellow and this one is called orange. <laughs> I think um, they look extremely Three only they're literally the same they're almost the, the same exact pen only a different color and I believe just different materials were used there we go so this one's the pilot and this one's the moon man this one's more of a squash this one's more of a pumpkin color if that makes sense and they feel about the same in my hands. I weighed them a little bit ago and the Moon Man is 32 grams and the Pilot is 33 grams. So I feel like a little bit less expensive materials were probably used for the Moon Man. And if you don't know what 33 grams feels like in your hands, you're not the only one. I don't know anyone that would unless you're like, a really good baker or something. Um, I weighed these Sarasa pens and most people have Sarasa clip pens or something similar to it, but it's three of these. So, you know, it's obviously not the, the same experience holding these versus the pen, but that's the same weight. And like, someone walk in on you and you're holding your three pens like this. It's like, oh, don't mind me. I'm just weighing my pens. Anyway, that's how heavy they are. And this one does feel like it's more of a aluminum. I don't know. So the click and the retractable part. I'm gonna let you hear the difference. This one is the Moon Man. And this one is the Pilot. So I don't know if you can tell the difference. I can tell with the Moon Man, it's got a little bit more of a metal ver on metal kind of sound. Can you hear that? Versus this. It's a different sound. So if that matters to you, then there you go. I just, I saved you some time. All right, now I'm going to do a test on the nib. This is a Uni Jetstream 0.5. Just to gauge, to be able to, to see what, oops, what the other ones are like. So this one is the Moon Man. So the Moon Man that I have here is an extra fine. Does that look extra fine to you? Let me see. That looks like a 0.7 to me. I am such a nerd. <laughs> I know, I feel like I know what a 0.7 would look like versus a 0.5. And this one is a fine nib in the Pilot. And I say capless because this one technically is called a capless. It's not called the vanishing point because the vanishing point has a gold nib and this one has a steel nib, I believe. I know I'm gonna get corrected if I'm wrong, but if if I am wrong, just, just go ahead and tell me. 
<laughs> it won't hurt my feelings. Um, I'm pretty sure there is a steel nib. So that's why the Pilot Vanishing Point is more expensive than the Pilot Capless is because of the nibs, but they're the same exact pen otherwise. So let's take a look. And to me, it looks like Oops, I need to put what this is, it's fine. I They didn't have an extra fine. I don't know if they even make an extra fine in the, um, in the capless one that I got. Maybe they do, but I couldn't find it because I'd prefer an extra fine. So looking at these lines here, what do you think? I think that the Moon Man is significantly bolder than the capless even though it's an extra fine i would use air quotes on that one because it's clearly quite bold i mean it looks like it could even be like a a one you know like it's it's a bold it's a bold line <laughs> um and the pilot capless it looks like it could be more of a 0.5 I mean, the, the ink is a lot darker because that's what ink did I use? Like a brown ink for the, oh wait, no, that's a black ink for the Uniball, but it's still a darker ink. But the lines are quite similar. Let's do a sound test. See what it sounds like when you're writing. No, my ABCs. Okay. Yeah. The Moon Man is definitely a lot more bold or a lot bolder than the Pilot Capless. So it really kind of depends on what you're all about. Like if you like that bold, thicker line, you know, you could go with the, the Moon Man and be perfectly happy. So in my opinion, wrapping this up here, you know, the price of this, the capless pen was about $80 after tax. And I got it on Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description so you can check that out if you want. <laughs> and the Moon Man I got for, it was around 45-ish dollars after tax. And I also got that on Amazon, so you can check that out if you want. You can do your own little comparison test. In conclusion, my preference, if I had a hundred bucks to spend on stationary supplies and I, I could get whatever I wanted, I would get the Pilot Capless, to be absolutely honest with you. I think the reason behind that for me is that I like a finer nib. If it weren't for the thickness of the line, I would go with the Moon Man if, if that didn't matter to me. So if it doesn't matter to you and you know, you're know you on a budget like the rest of us, I would go with the Moon Man because they're pretty much the same pen. And the only difference that I can see are the colors and they've got different colors. They've, they've got like blue. I think I'm gonna get myself a purple one because they've got purple now. Um, so in the Moon Man, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get like a, like a medium nib. So it's like really bold and use that as a, a header and use this as my text because it's, it's finer. What about the colors? Which one's your favorite? If I were to keep just one, I would keep the Pilot Vanishing Point. I would get that one. Just because I, I feel like the mechanics are a little bit better. You can, you can 
tell the difference in the click. In the experience, this actually, the Moon Man, feels smoother. It does write smoother, I think, than, than this one. But I think that's because the nibs are different sizes. I wonder if I can get a close up. The left one is the Pilot Vanishing Point slash Capless, and the one on the right is the Moon Man. See the nib difference? Anyway, there you have it. Which one would you get? If you could only choose one, what would you choose and why? Let me know in the comments, and I'll see you nerds later.